Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x power 3 plus x power 2 is equal to 1 over 8. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we will move this denominator of 8 by multiplying by 8 in both sides. So it will be 8 times this. So here, 8 times x power 3 plus 8 times this x power of 2 is equal to this 1 over 8 and here times 8 so it will be 80 x power 3 plus 80 x square is equal to 8 and 8 will cancel so it will be equal to 1 then in the next step here 8 8 is same as 2 power 3 times this x power 3 plus 8 is same as 2 power 3 times this x power 2 is equal to 1. Then it will be 2 power 3 times x power 3 plus here x power 2. Here we make 2 power 2. So 2 power 3 is same as 2 times 2 power 2 then times x power 2 is equal to 1. Then from here power 3 is common. So it will be 2 x bracket power of 3 plus 2 then times into here power of 2 is common so it will be 2 x bracket power of 2 which is common is equal to 1 then in the next step from here 2 x is common so we'll let y is equal to 2 x then our equation will be y power of 3 so here y power of 3 plus 2 y square is equal to 1 then we'll take this one to this side so it will be y power 3 plus 2 y square 1 will take this side to be minus 1 is equal to 0 then in the next step here this here it will be y power 3 then plus 2 y square is same as y square plus y square then this minus 1 is equal to 0. Then from here y power 3 plus y square, y square is common. So we'll take y square out of bracket. y power 3 divided by y square, it is y. Plus y square divided by y square, it is 1. Bracket. Then plus from here y square minus is same as 1 square. Now this part here is in the form of a perfect square. So this y square minus 1 is same as y plus 1 bracket times y minus 1 bracket is equal to this 0. Then from here y plus 1 is common. So we'll take y plus 1 bracket out of bracket. This here divided by this it is this y square plus this here divided by this it is this y minus 1. So here y minus 1 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions. Whereas this first solution, y plus 1 is equal to 0. And this second solution, y square plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Then from this first solution, we'll take 1 to this side. So it will be y is equal to negative 1. And from here, into this quadratic equation, we'll use quadratic formula to find the values of y. So from quadratic formula, to find the values of y is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be y is equal to negative b. b here is coefficient of y, which is 1. Then plus or minus square root of b square to be 1 square is 1 minus 4 times a is coefficient of y square which is 1 times c c is this constant negative 1 then over 2 times a a is 1 so it will be y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 is positive 4 over this time this is 2 
So it will be y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this plus this is 5 then over this 2. Then in the next step, from here we already get these values of y. Value of y and here value of y. Then we recall, but y is equal to 2x. So here, but y is equal to 2x. Then we'll compare these two equations. So it will be 2x. So 2x is equal to this negative 1. Then we'll divide by 2 in both sides. So 2 and 2 will cancel. Then it will be x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So this is the first value of x is equal to neg negative a half. And from here, y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. But y here, y, so right here, but y, y it is this here, 2x, y is equal to 2x. And here we got y is equal to this here, which is negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Then we compare these two equations. So it will be this, which is 2x is equal to this negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Then from here, we we'll divide by 2 in both sides. So here we we'll divide by 2 and here will divide by 2 so it will be times 2 in the denominator then this and this will cancel so it will be x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over this time this is 4 so into here we have two solutions because of plus or minus so our conclusion the first value of x is equal to this which is negative a half the second value of x is equal to here to be negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. So negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. The third value of x is equal to here when it is negative it will be negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 4. So we have four values of x into this our problem. Thank you for watching, don't forget these steps to miss out, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video, bye bye.